Welcome! Packard Vision is a software which uses deep learning and neural networks for visual inspection tasks. Let's create a new project and see the basic usage of the program. In this example we are going to train the software to detect knots in the wood and additionally to tell whether a knot is well intergrown or could possibly fall out. We can turn on remote access and this is handy if you install Packard Vision on a remote computer with a strong GPU. Users could then work with the program remotely through a web browser. For the training we need to import a collection of training images. For the detection of nodes we need a detector, so let's add it into the processing flow. And we need to train it. We simply mark objects in the images. The more objects we mark, the better and the higher the accuracy of the detector would be. For similarly looking objects and for objects which are easily distinguishable from the surrounding, it is enough to train on only a few images, let's say on 10 examples. But for objects which vary a lot or could be similar to their surrounding, it is necessary to use more training examples. For example, the nodes are quite variable and could be very similar to resin, bark or a dirt. So in this case, we annotated around 90 nodes. Now we can start the training. We can set various options of the training like transformations or type of neural network. And then we can start. During the training, we can observe a curve on a chart. We can see how it is slowly going down. That means the model is learning and its accuracy is improving. If we realize after the training the accuracy does not meet our expectations, we could simply annotate more objects and retrain the detector. When we see the curve does not sink anymore and it stays flat, we can stop the training. And here is our newly trained model. Let's try it out and check how well it performs and how well it can detect nodes. Let's filter out images which we have annotated. We want to see how well the model performs on images we didn't annotate before. Here it finds a node. Here too. And here it correctly does not find anything. It is not confused by other stains. Let's check a few more of them. Ok, it works really well. The detector finds correctly all knots and it is not confused by other stains on the wood which look similar to the knots. So we solved the first part of the problem. Now we would like to train the software to recognize whether the knot is intergrown or could possibly fall out and is encased. For that task we need to train a classifier. We put a classifier into the processing flow after the detector. First we specify classes so for us it is intergrown and encased. And then we again annotate the objects in the image by clicking at them. So let's do that for a few of them. Again, the more objects we annotate the better. And again, if we realize afterwards the accuracy does not meet our expectations, we simply annotate more objects and retrain the classifier. Ok, so let's train the classifier. We wait until the curve drops and does not decrease anymore. Mm -hmm. 
Then we can click finish and try out our newly trained model. The recognized class is shown next to the box of each detected object. As we can see, the nodes are perfectly recognized. The bottom node is correctly classified as intergrown, while the top one is correctly classified as encased. But let's check how it classifies the nodes we didn't annotate before. This one is intergrown, this is correct. Here is intergrown and encased, which is correct again. This is clearly encased, yeah. And again encased. And here are two intergrown. And here again intergrown and encased. And three times intergrown. So yeah, we can be satisfied. The nodes are classified perfectly right. Now I quickly show you how to visualize the processing flow. In more complex examples this can be used for debugging. In the upper box we see the detector and results of the detection and in the lower box is classifier and results of its classification. At the bottom of the page we see text with so-called context. The context contains all the information which has been gathered through the processing in a structured form. It contains for example position and size of found objects, recognized classes and so on. The context can be used for programming. Based on the context an external tool or machine can be controlled. The context can be sent to external program for addition processing and so on. We cover these more advanced topics in following videos. Now I connect the camera to our software. So now I have turned on the camera and let's see how it works live. I have one wood here and I turn on the processing and as you see it correctly finds both nodes and it correctly finds out which one is intergrown and which one is encased. Okay, so we have seen how easy it is to train the software and check our next videos to see how to use the advanced features of Packard Vision. Thank you for watching.